This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better planner, Camp Power, and Bill Component. Yo, what's up, electric cars enthusiasts? Uh, welcome back to Tesla Bjorn's channel. My name is uh, Waldemar, and today I want to talk a little bit about uh, Tesla Model 3 uh, drive units. We are gonna take apart the um, rear uh, drive unit of Model 3 which is probably not uh, repairable anymore because the car was uh, towed to us um, by Viking, Kranbil in Norwegian or uh, flatbed uh, and we actually had to uh, disconnect uh, one of the rear drive shafts to have a possibility to actually move or pull or push the car inside the workshop on the lifter because the car was not uh, moving at all like it was stuck, the rear wheels was really um, blocked. Uh, in addition, it had the broken uh, pyrofuse in the high voltage battery for some reason. Uh, uh, so yes, we are going to take apart uh, and see how big damage is actually in the rear drive unit. Uh, how many of you knew that uh, Tesla has done uh, we can call it uh, cool and delete or partly cool and delete inside the uh, uh, drive units. And uh, do you know that uh, Model 3 does not have a coolant heater anymore? Like the coolant is uh, preheated uh, by waste heat. How many of you remember uh, this BMW? Not this one, this one. Uh, this one that we've been struggling to find uh, what was the problem with the charging. In the previous uh, uh, Valdemar's garage, Bjorn's episode, uh, we've been telling the story that we couldn't find what's the problem with this uh, i3. Um, uh, the car was driving, we changed the battery, we changed the EMA, uh, EMA, we changed charger, we changed everything, but the car was still not charging. So it took for us uh, many working hours to find out uh, what was the problem with it, but uh, finally uh, it's up and running again. Uh, what was the fault? Uh, the fault was that um, the charger was sending wrong signal. To, to Le Modo, but uh, now it's done. Um, ah, one more thing, let me show you. We bought the car with broken uh, uh, glass in the back, the owner had the accident somewhere. And this week, we are gonna deliver it to, to the shop where they gonna replace the whole uh, uh, rear door, and uh, yeah, there is some places where you have to repaint it. I don't know, I can tell you when, when it's finished. So I think it's gonna be a very nice uh, loaner car for our customers who will come to do the service here at Elbilmec. So this Model 3 is from 2020 December and it had 210 kilometers on the clock. To reduce the repair post, customer went for a used uh, drive unit uh, from a donor which uh, had uh, just a few miles on the clock. You can see that there was just a few milliliters of oil in the drive unit, which is uh, yeah, not really good sign. <laughs> no metal shavings in the wall and no oil, so it's um, yeah, not so good uh, combination. To replace um, a rear drive unit, you have to um, lower the whole soft frame. The same way is done on Model S and Model X and probably Model Y. Later you need to code the um, new drive unit to the car, otherwise you get uh, immobilizer fault and the car won't start. So here we have a rear drive unit employs an internal permanent magnet synchronous motor. The design combines permanent magnets with the relance rotor. 
offers high efficiency and strong torque at a low speeds. The motor serves as a primary propulsion source in both rear and all-wheel drive configuration of Model 3. So yes, this is probably the reason why the car was not starting and why the pyro fuse is blown. Looks like uh, this engine had no oil for a long time. The plastic is melted, just a few balls. So I believe that customer heard uh, some noises long time before before this happened. Completely stuck, not turning. It's interesting that. Uh, it seems that it's oil cooled, so you need to have oil changed not just for gearbox performance, but is also to have a better engine cooling um, uh, function. Incredible. So then the main differences between uh, Model S uh, and Model 3 drive units is that Model S and uh, Model X um, uh, electric um, motor is uh, fully uh, cooled uh, by the cooling liquid. Even the rotor is cool like this and we know that this seal is tend to start uh, to break and, and start to leak uh, coolant inside the um, drive unit when the model 3 drive unit is uh, we can say partly just cooled by um, uh, cooling liquid so we have a <coughs> coolant loop here and outlet here which is just cooling the inverter and whole electronics and when the rest of the electric uh, motor is cooled by um, oil so in this way as I mentioned in the beginning Tesla done partly cool and delete because it's just this part which is cool and uh, uh, cooled and this is oil cooled and in the same way uh, if uh, battery needs to be preheated then uh, BMS or another unit I'm not sure which one sends the uh, signal uh, to the inverter so the engine electric motor is uh, preheating oil and through the oil and coolant heat exchanger uh, heating up uh, oh, sorry heating up uh, coolant and preparing battery for fast charge or for yeah temperature that uh, PMS is uh, required 
Yeah, you can see one more example here as a drive unit for Model S. So you need to take down the whole uh, subframe to, to remove the drive unit. There is no recommendation from Tesla how often you should replace the gearbox oil while some customers state that they receive the um, uh, service message after 190,000 kilometers to replace the gearbox oil. My recommendation is don't wait 190,000 kilometers to replace the gearbox oil and get it replaced much much more often and save a lot of money. Then how you think? How often a gearbox oil should be replaced on Model 3 or other electric cars? Hmm? I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and talk to you later. I think. <laughs> Bye.